Hello and welcome to this Florence update. It's going to be a brief one because I already did a Florence update, but my computer decided to crash, and unfortunately I don't really feel like spending another 15 minutes doing another update. So this could be very brief, I'm sorry. Florence is a tropical storm. Fortunately, it's weakened uh, to 65 miles an hour, uh, and its movement is west at 8 miles an hour. So uh, we're going to go right to the models here. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, my computer... Uh, I think I might need to put r more RAM in my computer. It's got 4 gigabytes of RAM, but it, may, it doesn't seem like it's enough anymore to run some graphic issues with graphic programs without crashing. So anyway, let's take a look at the GFS. There's been a track change in, Gore, in uh, Florence, and you can see uh, it is now impacting. You can see right here it has it impacting over uh, North Carolina, Virginia, heading up the Chesapeake Bay, Washington, D.C., and then it would take the I-95 corridor. The good news with this track, at least for us, is that by the time we get here, it'll be weakened su substantially. But for the folks further south of us, they're going to really get hit very hard and face a natural disaster. All right, uh, and we'll look at the URO. Again, this is going to be abbreviated version because my computer has decided to uh, lose the uh, video file that I just put together. So uh, this is the URO. The URO tracks it even further uh, south into the Carolinas. Uh, North South Carolina and takes it almost due inland uh, over there and then just kind of weakens it on the west on the east side of the Appalachians. Canadian, we'll do the Canadian, same thing. So Canadian actually takes it even further south over South Carolina and Georgia. All right, that's the Canadian's opinion of it. Uh, so there's been a track change. We're going to go, we're going to take a look at the close the regions here uh, and again work with this and I do apologize I just don't feel like doing it over again because this computer has decided to be giving me problems lately it's been giving me a lot of problems uh, all right so we'll look at the rain we'll get the track for the the rain again this uh, again there's Florence sometime again about a little about five six days away it's going to impact and that tracks looking more and more likely that's going to impact somewhere in the East Coast um, but this track at least for us takes it into uh, the Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, up into the Chesapeake, Washington, D.C. By the time it gets to Washington, D.C., it'll probably even weaken, probably to a minimal hurricane. But there's going to be a lot of rainfall there. And then uh, it takes it uh, up I-95, and we would get the remnants of it. But by the time it would get here, it wouldn't be too bad. Because if we look at the wind fields, you'll see that uh, it wouldn't be too bad. So uh, here you go. Uh, there it goes. There it impacts into uh, this is the 18 Z run of the GFS impacting into eastern North Carolina into Virginia. Uh, uh, by the time it gets to Washington, it'll have weakened the left. And the winds, they they definitely look like they're going to be. If you look closely at the bottom there, definitely looks like uh, winds near 100 miles an hour and it makes landfall. So it could be a Cat 3 or even a Cat 4. Uh, it wouldn't be surprised me if it's Cat 4. I think it's going to regain all its strength with those warm water temperatures. But with this track, it moves inland. It loses its wind speeds pretty quickly. And by the time it gets into our area, we're just dealing with, like, nor'easter wind speeds of maybe 20 to 30 miles an hour. Uh, so uh, that is uh, what it, the GFS has. Uh, again, I'm not going to go over the URL. I do apologize. This has to be a brief weather update because I'm having some computer issues. So that's going to be it for this weather update. Uh, again, the track has shifted further west, but because of a stronger ridge in the Atlantic, it looks like it's going to, it's not going to recurve out the sea and it's going to hit land somewhere. Just hopefully it's not us, but I really wish it wouldn't hit anyone, but, uh, just don't want to deal with this, you know. Anyway, that's going to be it for this weather update. Sorry about the problem. Take care.